So this has been an incredible week. In the past few days, we have gathered with more than 160 World Trade Center members from all over the world uh, for our first ever virtual General Assembly. Uh, our General Assembly counted a record number of registrations with well over a thousand participants from more than 70 countries. We have launched an artificial intelligence powered B2B matchmaking platform, which will be open for another two weeks till May 14. So I would encourage you to continue to take full advantage. Uh, businesses can still register till the end of day tomorrow. And as mentioned, the B2B tool will be live till May 14. So as long as a business you register before the end of day tomorrow, you can join and enter the platform all the way through May 14. So we also engage with uh, thought provoking speakers uh, to discuss the relevant issues of today. And I hope that our conversations also challenged your thinking. Many ideas uh, came from our discussions and no doubt more partnerships and engagements will come from them, whether it's with the WTO, the Global Trade Help Desk or development banks, or for the WTCA to have the ambition to become a private sector interlocutor as a voice of our members in consultations on international trade. Now two exciting and important announcements. First of all, we are proud to launch our global branded podcast WTCA's Trade Wins. You may already have seen a podcast icon on the homepage of the event platform. Uh, the podcast will air about four times a month and is available on uh, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcast, Amazon Music, and more. So more information also on podcast.wtca.org. So here comes a sneak preview of the trailer. Welcome to this trailer episode of Trade Wins, presented by the World Trade Centers Association. My name is Robin van Pernbroek, and I will be your host. First of all, a few words about who we are and why we're starting this podcast. I am the Executive Director of Business Development of the World Trade Centers Association, or WTCA, headquartered in New York City. The WTCA is an international trade association with a mission to facilitate international trade and development. We're also the brand owner of the iconic World Trade Center brand, and as such, we are a vibrant membership community of more than 320 World Trade Centers in cities across nearly 100 countries. Our association and our World Trade Centers are true beehives of economic activity and provide an environment of trust and credibility in international business. Our interconnected global network is comprised of an ecosystem of economic development agencies, real estate developers, conference and exhibition centers, universities, logistical hubs, airports, free zones, and more. This podcast is designed specifically to be thought provoking and to provide insights from leading experts to help us navigate today's changing environment. We aim to contribute to the empowerment of our global membership and their business networks in the world of global trade and investment. So what can you expect from this show? First of all, you can expect us to challenge the status quo, to challenge conventional thinking, and to discuss how can we make what we do more meaningful. Each episode, we will host engaging conversations that will educate and inspire our global community of World Trade Centers and constituents active across all industries and sectors around the world. We will do this by interviewing leaders from business, governments, academia, media, and international organizations, as well as our very own WTCA members from around the world. Together, we will discuss and dissect the most pertinent news trends and strategies that are having the greatest impact on our future. We're very excited to get started. So if you have any ideas for future episodes, know someone who would be an inspiring guest, or just want to stay apprised of our show, please make sure to connect with our team via email at podcast at WTCA.org. Episode one will be available soon. So be sure to head over to podcast.wtca.org and subscribe to the show. We'll see you soon. So in the first episode, meanwhile, has launched today. Uh, it's called Global Trade at a Turning Point. And in this first episode, I go in conversation with Dr. Peter Ratching, who is a true globalist, a great educator, investor, 
and philanthropists. So don't miss this episode, you will not be disappointed. So as promised, we will give away a free ebook of Richard's book, Enough About Me, to the first 250 participants who subscribe to the podcast and email us at podcast at WTCA.org. So subscribe and send us an email. Again, you can subscribe on Apple iTunes, on Spotify, Google Podcast, Amazon Music, or access via podcast.wtca.org. It is not www.podcast.wtca.org. It is podcast.wtca.org. So without the www. So on to the, the second announcement. Very exciting. Uh, we are pleased to present the host of next year's General Assembly in Accra, Ghana, the World Trade Center Accra. Exact details will be finalized in the months to come, but here is an exciting message from our friends in Accra. You may not have all the answers. But at the World Trade Centers Association, we think that Africa will be a big part of the future. We invite you to join a delegation to our first General Assembly in Sub-Saharan Africa to be held in Accra in April 2022. Africa's economy has been growing at a rate above global averages and at a point before COVID had seven of the 10 fastest growing economies in the world. Africa presents unmatchable opportunities in almost all its economic sectors. Information and communication technology agriculture and food processing, mining and drilling, energy and power, manufacturing, banking and finance, Retail and infrastructure. In all these sectors, Africa has unused potential, which means Africa offers growth trajectories that are difficult to replicate in almost any other economy in the world. For instance, Mr. Jim Ovia, who you would probably meet when you attend GA 2022, started Zenith Bank in 1990 with 4 million US dollars. In 2019, Zenith Bank had total asset base of about 16 billion US dollars, representing over 1000% growth. And this is just to whet your appetite about the immense potential that Africa holds. GA 2022 will feature conference sections networking cocktails, focused on key economic sectors and countries, customized B2B and B2G engagements, an exhibition, and field trips designed to provide participants with insights into trade and economic opportunities in Africa. Most of these activities will be held in the Regal Kempinski Hotel Gold Coast City, Accra. GA 2022 will be an opportunity to also experience the rich culture and natural endowment of Ghana and some other African countries. Yes, we have arranged some amazing tours for your accompanying guests to be conducted along the, alongside the main business events. You may also book tours around the country and even to other countries on the continent after the business events of GA 2022 from World Trade Center Accra's Travel Services subsidiary. GA 2022 Accra, Ghana will be a truly African General Assembly 
bringing perspectives, insights, and opportunities from across the continent. We look forward to welcoming you to Accra, the gateway to Africa and the future. And we really can't wait to show you our beautiful city and country. See you! And we certainly uh, look forward to meeting in Ghana next year. Um, we will strongly pivot to Africa next year, a continent with tremendous potential. So and now I'm happy to welcome back our chairman, John Drew, to share with us his uh, thoughts and closing remarks. Uh, John. Robin, thank you very, very much. Um, listen, uh, I'm wrapping this meeting up, but I don't want to close this meeting because it's been an excellent meeting. And I must say, quite frankly, um, that uh, just being part of it has been um, uh, really a pleasure. Uh, I, and I like the speakers. I like what they had to say. I think ending with Richard um, and his whole point on selflessness was an extremely great way to end the, uh, the speaking program. Uh, I look forward to next year, of course, going to Ghana. But um, first of all, I want to thank you, Robin, for being uh, for organizing this whole thing with your team, with Crystal, you know, with um, with uh, also Elita, and also um, the uh, rest of the headquarters operation. And Chanel, I thought working with Crystal did a fantastic job. So I mean, literally, uh, I'm very pleased with the work that's been done here. I want to just remind our members, you know, it's interesting, a couple of years ago, we were in Mexico, the last uh, in-person in, in, in uh, meeting, we had a session where, we were, where the board was asked, and I was asked and, um, uh, about uh, what are we doing for business? How are we growing our association? How are we protecting our, uh, uh, our value um, in building the value of our name? Well, I hope this program um, in these last uh, two days, this, the, including today, prove that, quite frankly, you have a board that does listen. We have a very, very talented staff that can execute. We have new ideas that have been brought in by Robin and his team that we're basically you're seeing evidence of today, which, make, which means this association, even it's into its 50th years, um, is growing and listening and changing and adapting. And um, I hate to use this expression because Robin has told me not to use it. <laughs> so but I'm gonna break the rule and say, I think this is a breakthrough meeting for us. Um, what's going on right now, what's started yesterday, are the business to business sessions. And I expect, um, now this is 500 businesses brought in by our members. Um, we hope that someday this will be 3000 businesses brought in by our members. Uh, to attend, but it's 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 the beginning of an opportunity for a trade center to introduce its members to another trade center virtually, and hopefully, what's going to happen in the next couple of days, we can have some success stories where people meet one another, and we have buyers and sellers, and people have a way of purchasing services through our association. If this, uh, and, and I said, this is a baby step. This is the first step uh, added um, that we've done in the uh, pandemic, ironically, has allowed us to develop these, uh, th this capacity. But with the trade desk uh, that we talked about yesterday, with the artificial intelligence, with the platform that we're using, um, we're experimenting. But those experiments are thoughtful experiments. And I think what we're going to find is hopefully the businesses that are participating are gonna say, this was worth our time. We met some, we, we found opportunities, we met one another um, and we did it through my World Trade Center. I think that if you brought a couple of businesses or you brought 20 businesses or you brought five businesses to this uh, meeting, I, I hope um, that they're gonna fi find that their time was well spent and it was an exciting uh, dynamic way of looking for a new business. So we're looking for those stories and we expect we'll be hearing those stories as we go forward. And I, the other part of this that uh, Robin has talked to me about repeatedly is that this is a work in progress. Um, as Richard pointed out, he talked about selflessness as his philosophy in life. And I, I accept it and believe it completely. I also have a philosophy, which is a Japanese philosophy called, called Kaizen, which I've used in my own life and my own business which says we're constantly trying to, we have to constantly try to improve. 
you never get to be perfect. You, you Every day you try to get closer to perfection. And I think honestly, if you look at the work that's being done right now by Robin and the team and, and you're feeling it and seeing it in this GA, there is, I hope, a strong feeling of improvement, of growth, of that the experiments, the experimentation that we're doing with technology is a good experiment and, a, and it's gonna be a prosperous outcome for all of us in the, in, the, in the association. And the question about the value of our trademark, uh, the value of our name uh, the, that in, is gonna be self-evident and become stronger and more easily explained. And with that uh, happening, I think what's gonna take place, I hope what's gonna take place is that we'll have new licenses and we'll know people trying to join us. But, as importantly, if not more importantly, the people who are presently our members are going to have more value in their name and in their in their participation in this association. We're going to feel we're going to um, we're going to be proud to invite people to our meetings, and because we're going to be quite confident that when they come to our meetings, they're going to hear great speakers. When they come to our meetings, they're going to, in fact, I think, be moved by some of our speakers to think differently about business. Uh, they're going to they're, they're going to be learn about measurements. Uh, they're going to learn about a number of things that, quite frankly, will make them a stronger business operator. But I think the other part will be that they can bring along their supporters, their their members. Uh, I'm hoping in the next um, uh, by next year that we're bringing along some of our people from uh, who actually are supporting our trade centers, like U.S. Department of Commerce in in, in the United States, USAID. Uh, in the United States and uh, in their, in their colleagues around the world. That Asian Development Bank person that we spoke that spoke yesterday again opened up opportunities and pointed out how we can work more as with our members more effectively in developing uh, their uh, commitments to the World Trade Center. So these are opportunities that have been presented and I must say they reflect a lot of thought, a lot of time, a lot of effort that went into uh, the creation of this General Assembly. Uh, we have a team that's going to that thinks that way, acts that way. So I feel very, very confident that, quite honestly, uh, as we uh, as we work along with one another, you're going to see that kind of improvement showing up more and more and more, and it's going to become commonplace at some point, which I think will be a great, great achievement. The um, again, I, I I want to thank Robin and the team, um, uh, Crystal, Chanel, Elita. They did they did a great job, um, and. I also want to call out while I have an opportunity, the people at headquarters. I asked Robin to see if I could put up something where I can just talk about the team at headquarters so you could at least see their picture in their name, since uh, many of you have not had the opportunity to meet them in the past couple of years. Um, but we have, we have a really uh, great team of people. And so some, some of the, now you can put some of the names together with faces. Um, again, during the past couple of years, and while I've been sharing this, this team has been extremely supportive and has done a very, very, very good job. I must also uh, in particular sort of say that the regional team, which is up there right now of Carlos and his team and the group we have in Nicholson and, uh, and, and his team in, in Europe and basically Europe, Carlos and team Latin America and our Chinese team and, and Asian team have been again, very, very good at their jobs and continue to represent us well. Um, and you can see that we're growing here and with the addition of the North American RAC this year, we'll be adding more people um, to this, this uh, group that are uh, our regional teams. And we're gonna continue to develop that so that again, a stronger regional presence means greater input from uh, members on a local basis. It means that we spend our time more wisely. We spend our money more wisely to accomplish the needs of the association. So again, I wanna thank all of those people. I must also call out my good friend, Scott Ritchie, who I didn't talk about on Tuesday. And um, uh, I was shocked not, I, I was, when I finished speaking, it's like the first thing that flashed to my mind was, why didn't I mention Scott? I wanna just call him out. Everyone knows Scott, everyone knows what a great asset he is to this association and in his prior life as that general counsel and in uh, his more recent life with us as secretary to the, uh, to the board. But what some of you may not know is that uh, Scott was the man I went to uh, when we were recruiting Robin. We had, we brought an outside firm. We had a hundred names. We worked our way through those names. Scott diligently every uh, week with 
B and then with this team, the special team of the boys with Mariette and, and Remy and Lou and uh, Baran, we, we, we went through names, we interviewed people, et cetera, et cetera. And you, I, I hope you all agree, we made a very, very wise uh, choice and we were very fortunate to be able to recruit Robin. Uh, and so uh, again, the guy who was the motor behind that pushing along weekly for me was, uh, was Scott. Uh, and, that's, and then when um, Joanne left, I turned to Scott again to sort of put on his old robe, his old hat, and sort of help us uh, as the council while we looked for Jim. And uh, again, uh, I asked, asked uh, Scott to lead that uh, hunt uh, and recruitment drive. We had very, very good candidates. I must say, we, I am delighted. And I think as you get to have an opportunity to meet Jim, uh, you're going to be very, very pleased with Jim Perry joining us and, and the work he's going to be able to do for us. He's got a great background in business and law and, and, and trademarks, et cetera. Uh, but that business background is something that I'm counting on will, again, develop and, and help to grow this association. So I, I spoke about others on Monday, but I don't want to leave out Jim and, and Scott and Robin and his team, again, for the accomplishments that, uh, that, that they've provided us in with the work they've done creating this program. Looking uh, out into um, the future uh, with that meeting in Africa, I think we'll try to blend in, we'll learn from this meeting and we'll try to blend in elements of this meeting into the Africa meeting so that business can e businesses can easily participate with one another and hopefully grow that aspect of what we're doing. And then I'd like to end um, on, a, on a different note. Uh, a member of the board who served with me for many, many years, Charlotte Cologli, uh, has, has basically uh, left the board, uh, I think about a year ago now, uh, though I'm not, I, I, maybe even a little bit longer than that. And Charlotte was, it was a great part of our, uh, of our family and quite honestly, someone who uh, gave a great deal of time and, and energy uh, to this association and was instrumental in, and helping to recruit more women into leadership in the association. So Charlotte is, um, has retired from the World Trade Center in Miami. Um, she's offered her services to be, to help us with women in business and women in trade uh, programs. And I'm hoping to take advantage of that. But one thing that the board did do um, is, was to welcome her into an honorary board member uh, status. So she'll be emeritus with this board going forward. So hopefully Charlotte, you'll see Charlotte again in the future, attending uh, some of our meetings, but on behalf of the whole association, in particular the board, I wanna thank Charlotte for her work uh, on our behalf and say that we benefited greatly from Charlotte's presence in the work with us. And I hope to see her again soon. On that note, I would like to sort of end, but uh, say that this is an ending. The B2B piece is ongoing. Uh, Robin is going to scrub that, uh, go over that work that we've done, uh, figure out what, what's good uh, about it, what can be changed, what can be improved. And so we'll have more to report on, on that. Uh, there's going to be a, a living record of this meeting that, uh, again, that uh, Robin just put up on the screen for us to see. So you're going to be able to take advantage of this meeting going forward, use it to, in fact, show others. Uh, what uh, we've, what we're doing, what we're standing for, and, uh, and the, the type of people that we're associated with. Also, I must underline again the, the partnership role that Robin's has, has pursued for us, with uh, on conferences, on meetings with the WTO, Global Trade Desk, and others. Those organizations, um, the UFI in, in included in that. Those organizations, in fact, um, are very, very important organizations in their areas. And the fact that they va value us enough to be partners with them and to participate with them in working with them is a great tap on our shoulder and our back saying that we're doing, we're doing things right. On the other side, the opportunity to take advantage of those relationships for you and with your members is a great opportunity to use them to help you do your, do your trade services, do your uh, real estate development, uh, and I mean, don't miss that opportunity. It's a great opportunity. And again, I, the, the members of this association are wonderful people. You saw this 270 people participating in the MAX. Um, the work of the RAC is, it, it takes an awful lot of time and devotion. And the work of my fellow members on the board, the time they give this association, 
all his volunteers is remarkable. So um, we've got spirit. We've got, I think, a bright future. The business to business piece, I hope, is going to produce uh, a, a, a very strong business element within us. Um, and I want to thank, again, the team for all the work they did, for your participation, uh, for the large number of trade centers, the, the 163 or so trade centers that participated, which is the best number in possibly the best number we've ever had, um, honestly, and uh, in sheer numbers, but great participation. So again, thank you for your time. I think it was well worth spending your time on this program. And the only thing we missed is being together uh, personally. We need, we'll bring that back in Africa, as well as I said, keep the virtual component. So it will be hybrid. But again, thank you all for participating. Thank you. I look forward to your comments. Please get back to us. Um, use the old fashioned email if you'd like, but uh, get back to us and let us know um, uh, sort of uh, what your thoughts are and um, you know, what, you'd like, what you'd like to and what you'd like to see improve. So thank you very, very much. Great. Well, well, thank you so much, John. Um, th th this was a, a true team effort, and I cannot uh, thank uh, enough you, John, uh, also the entire board for all their support, but especially our uh, wonderful team, uh, Crystal, Chanel, and Elitza, who have worked uh, tirelessly, I will say, behind the scenes and on the scenes uh, to make this program happen, uh, also making sure that the technology uh, we, we so much rely on uh, works properly. Right. So thank you, team, for the outstanding support in making this program uh, run as impeccable as it did. So uh, to wrap up, uh, note that the live stream programs with our keynote speakers will be available on demand on the Jubilee event platform, uh, but later also um, on our uh, WTCA resource center. Please also take the survey which is up now, uh, click on the box. Uh, it's available on your screen. It uh, will be available for the next 15 minutes. So this ends our live stream program. I hope you enjoyed the show, the program. Uh, do continue with the B2B matchmaking all the way through May 14th until next year in Accra, if not sooner. Goodbye. Thank you.